Hi guys, welcome to a little bit of everything. Today, I'll be showing you how to do a jute rope planter. Um, these are some ideas of what I saw online. Of course, you can make it your own style, your own colors, and it's kind of fun just to get, kind of get an idea of what you want. So this is what you're gonna need from Dollar Tree, a little planter. You're gonna need rope. This I bought at Walmart, but Dollar Tree does have some, and they're actually um, a dollar, but they come in small, they're more smaller. And Walmart, I noticed that this was big enough to finish the whole planter for five something dollars. And I'm gonna use yarn. Um, this is leftover yarn that I got from Walmart. And I will also be needing foam for me to um, actually stick the plants. I'm gonna need this tall grass plant. I guess it's called lemongrass. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And some rocks, whatever color of choice you want. You can use black or white. I decided to go with black. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing, um, hot gluing the actual rope around the planter in a circular form. And pretty much just going around gluing piece by piece just to make sure that it doesn't fall apart and just twisting it around until um, I bring it to a point where I want the rope to stop. You will continue repeating this process up to a point where you feel comfortable that you want to carry on a different color. You can do this planter with three different colors. You can use um, the rope, you can use yarn and black, you can even add white or gray, up to your liking. I'm gonna just use two colors, which is the rope, and then I'm gonna go above half of the container, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue the handles before I start gluing in the yarn over them so I can hide the actual handles underneath it. Once I add in the handles, I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing in the yarn. Um, again, you can use yarn. If you find some rope that in different color, like a darker brown or a different uh, color, you can, even you can even paint the rope in white or gray or whatever color that you want, just to make it look more rustic. Um, I just decided that I didn't wanna do all that. I just wanted to add black um, yarn since I had leftover from a different project and the yarn's actually thick, so I thought it would look nice. And I'm just kind of going over to where I left off the rope. I'm kind of gonna, I am probably might go over it a little bit just so that way it looks uniformed and it looks all even and it's not like, you know, showing one part where I ended the rope and then starting the yarn and, you know, looking a little messy there. But um, I'll make sure I cover everything so that way there's no gaps and it looks nice. done i'm gonna go have, go ahead and start looking around to see the little strings that are sticking out just because i want to make it sure it looks all clean um, and you can just go around the yarn you could go around the rope make sure you're just taking off the little strings that you don't need and um, just making it look more cleaner 
thing I'll be doing is adding the foam inside the container just to put in my plant. Um, you're, they're square, so those were the only things that I was able to find at Dollar Tree. They, I think, I believe they do have circular ones, but they were not the foams that I was looking for. And these are very easy to cut and maneuver around if you need to make them fit. So if if you come to a point where your container is too big and you don't have, um, and you have gaps inside, maybe you can add some paper just to, um, you know, fill it around or cut them smaller so you can actually fit them in and won't have um, all these gaps inside. So when you put your plants, they'll all come out even and they're not falling inside your container way deep. Next, I'll be adding my plants. Um, you can insert them as deep as you like. I'm kind of wanting them to stick out a little bit tall, so I'm just making sure that I um, put in just the green part, the plastic green part of, uh, of the plant that doesn't have the lemongrass portion. So you won't be able to see the bottom part, but you do see the lemongrass. Um, and you can go deeper if you don't want to see those little gaps. Um, right now, of course, you see all these gaps because I haven't put in the stones or the little rocks, but you can go ahead and once you put them in, this is where, you, um, where you're where you going to go ahead and play around a little bit just to make sure you hide some of these gaps and it looks all even and it looks very nice. If you need to put hot glue, go ahead and do that. That way they're not moving around. Um, just kind of assemble it to your liking, just making sure you're covering your gaps. Well, there you have it. This is my beautiful rope planter and my tall grass or green grass or lemongrass, whatever you want to call it. It looks so rustic, but it looks cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.